today's episode, I'm going to be explaining to you 10 reasons why your AC might be on, but it's not blowing any cold air inside your home. So make sure you stay tuned. Hey there friends, welcome to Fix This House. If you're new to the channel, consider pressing the subscribe notification bell to close being tuned on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. This was a very good question that was left on the comment section on one of my AC videos, and they said that they hear that the fan was on, but there was no cold air that was blowing inside their home. So what could be the issue? I'm going to explain to you 10 reasons why this might be happening. Let's start with reason number one. So one possible reason why you might mistake in your AC to be on inside your home and you think that it's not working, maybe it's because you think that the fan you're hearing is from your AC condenser, AC unit from the outside of your home that's on. Well, it's actually your fan on your furnace or your air handler inside your home that's running, but it's not your actual AC. So the thing that you have to do is you have to go outside and check if the AC outside your home which is this unit right here is actually on and you hear the fan going because one time this happened to me and I thought that the AC was on on the inside but it's just blowing air and that's pretty much it it was hot stagnant air when I went outside this AC unit was not on at all so that was the main culprit possible reason number two is you have a bad capacitor now I've made a video on this on how to change one how to test one if you want to check out that video check out this video right here after you watch this video it will explain more in depth how i go about testing and changing out that capacitor but pretty much a capacitor is like a battery or that jump starts your ac unit so that it can start up the fan start blowing all that cold air inside your home so that capacitor is located on the side of your ac unit where you just have to take out a panel and you can easily see it. But in order to do that, you must turn off the power from your main circuit breaker first. The reason why I wasn't getting any cold air inside my home, this was off because of a bad capacitor. After I changed it out though, this was working pretty much fine. Everything was back to normal. Let's get to possible reason number three. So when I was changing out the capacitor on this AC unit, I also found out that I had bad fuses. Your capacitor might be in very good condition, but it's still not turning on. It's maybe because you have bad fuses on your panel. So let me show you right now. On your AC unit, there's a cable that's running to this shut off panel box. You can shut off the main power from your AC just by pulling this. So put this on a safe place. On here, there's a plate, there's a plastic plate. When you open this, While I was looking right here, notice that there are two 30 amp fuses right there. Now, different models come with different types of fuses, so make sure you check which um, amperage or fuses that you need for your certain model. For this model that I have, I have two 30 amp fuses. So if you don't know what the fuses do, they're used to protect the electrical components and wiring from excessive amperage, which can damage either the motors, the switches, and wiring. So a blown fuse usually indicates another issue and took the damage so that more expensive components wouldn't need to be replaced. I actually hold the old fuses right here. Look how old they are. I mean, you can't really see them, but inside of these are blown out. Very easy to take out. You just pop them out and pop the new one in. Given these are the maintenance stuff that you need to check on your AC units. So these are the pretty one of the easiest fixes that you can do. Make sure you get the right model for your AC unit. You just popped out the old ones and replaced them with the new. Also good to check this pullout switch um, for the connectors as well. Make sure they're not corroded. Everything is clean so that you have that good contact. The possible reason number four why your AC is not working and not blowing any cold air inside your home is because your fan motor is shot. So let me show you where's that located and how you can take it out and replace it. Look at your AC condenser. You take out all these screws right all around and you see where that fan is right there. There's your motor right inside of this. So you can easily take that out by unscrewing these taking those out and just replacing that. Now, I'm gonna make a separate video on how to change that out. So stay tuned for that because this one's still working, but uh, it's time probably time for me to go replace it anyway. So stay tuned for that video. Possible reason number five, and again, this one's very common, especially if you live in an area where there's four seasons and that's your AC condenser coils. They get plugged up and they get dirty. If you look around here, you see the shroud. When you take the shroud off, you can see that there is coils all around there. 
So those get dirty, get plugged up with dirt, debris, especially over here. I live in Washington. There's a lot of trees. Pine needles get stuck on there. Um, spider webs get in there. So easiest way to do that is just take out the shroud. Take a, not, and I made a video on how to clean this out as well. Check out this video right here. Again, this videos that I'm showing you up here, I'll leave all of those video links on the description down below. So check those out if you want to go watch those separately after you watch this video. But it's easy as just taking the shroud off, taking your garden hose and using, I use a special cleaner. And if you're interested on that special cleaner that I use, I'll leave the link on the description down below along with any tools and materials that I explain within this video. So make sure you clean those out at least twice a year. I recommend around springtime and fall time because that's when it gets really crazy so that you can be prepared for the coming seasons okay so let's get to the next one so the next one is might be a hard one to fix and you might need a technician to come out and do this for you but when i installed a uh, ac unit on my parents home there, there's a evaporator coil called the a coil in order to get to that area you need to take apart pretty much your furnace if you do get access just use a vacuum and a soft brush and you can get access to that but if you can't get access to that, I recommend that you go call an AC technician and they can get and clean that out for you. This next possible reason is because your AC is low on refrigerant. Now, I don't recommend you doing this yourself. This should be done with a certified technician that can do it. Kind of just like in your car, when your car stops blowing cold air, you got to refill it or there's a possible leak in your system. So there might be a leak on your AC unit, just kind of like what you, happens on the car. They will probably put a dye there. Um, the technician will insert some sort of dye uh, and they'll figure out where that leak is coming from and get that fixed. This next possible reason I'm speaking with experience because it happened to me when I first moved into this home and I went up the attic. There was a huge vent duct that was running right all across my home, which you can see right here. And it looked fine till I actually crawled on top and i saw that there was a disconnect on that vent duct and there was this pretty much all that air blowing all over my attic and i didn't know of it till i actually checked got some vent duct tape tape the those openings and it was in multiple areas that was actually leaking so make sure you check for any possible leaks or any openings this one was a huge one I had to take that vent duct and push it together realign it tape it up and that fixed the problem so check your duct work to see everything is nice and connected. The next reason is a locked up compressor. So this compressor is located inside your AC condenser as well. If you take this out, you unbolt it, there's an AC condenser. It's a black cylinder type looking thing. And I'll make a video on how to test and replace that in a future video. Last but not least, why your AC is might be blowing, but it's not blowing any cold air. And that is your thermostat. So check for the battery or you might need to go and change it out to a brand new one some of these thermostats are kind of dated so it's pretty wise to just probably go and update it and i got a few suggestions check out the links in the description on the good ones again friends those are just some of many and i will make a part two in this video so i can explain 10 more reasons why your ac might not be working or might not be blowing any cold air if you have any other reasons or experiences of why yours wasn't working share with the community and put it on the comment section down below and share it with everyone if you found this video super helpful friends please hit that big thumbs up press the subscribe notification bell and i'll see you friends on the next video